Hello and welcome back. Today we're going through exercise 1.30 from the Art of Electronics. In this exercise, we need to show that the expression uh, before the question for the response of an RC low pass filter is correct. So the expression that the question is talking about is on the screen now, which is VR is equal to 1 over the square root of 1 plus omega squared r squared c squared uh, multiplied by Vn. So this is basically the response in magnitude, so ignoring the phase of a low pass RC filter. So just going through what a low pass RC filter looks like, we have a series resistor with a capacitor and your load would be connected to this point and the ground over here. So what this circuit does is that any high frequency signals will get attenuated for the load. And this is done by the capacitance basically becoming low impedance for higher frequencies. So it creates a, a short path for, for the high frequency noise or high frequency signal to go through. Obviously for the question, we need to show this equation. So let's first start by analyzing what this circuit is. So we have a potential divider over here with resistance R1 and capacitance C1. So we can write down the potential divider equation. So V out, which is this node over here, is equal to the V in, which is on V1, uh, multiplied by the reactance of the capacitor, divided by the resistance plus the reactance of the capacitor. And in this case, the reactance of the capacitor are set as 1 over J omega C, as this will help with the equations. So obviously you have the minus j over omega c as well from the book now if we plug in the equation for the reactance of the capacitor basically one over j omega c into this equation so we are replacing x c with one over j omega c we get um, this equation over here which is v out is equal to v in multiplied by one over j omega c divided by r plus one over j omega c now, if we simplify this equation, we can bring this j omega c down and we basically end up with this. So the next step would be to multiply this uh, bracket out. So you get j omega c r plus j omega c divided by j omega c. So obviously that instance there will turn to a one and then that instance where you have j omega c r would basically stay as j omega c r. So now you get V out is equal to V in multiplied by 1 over J omega CR plus 1. I've just rewritten it here because it's common form to write the imaginary units second or the imaginary section of the equation second. Now to get the magnitude, and remember in this case we are ignoring the phase, we have to multiply the output signal by its complex conjugate and do the square root. This is given to us in the book. So if you read, I think it's about three, four paragraphs above, maybe the page above this question, where the author is going through a similar problem for a high pass filter. What is the complex conjugate of this um, equation? It's basically we are replacing the plus sign on the imaginary section with a negative sign. So we get the complex conjugate of VR is equal to VN, and in brackets, we get 1 over 1 minus j omega CR. So what I will be doing is plugging this equation into here and this equation into here. So this is the result after plugging in those two equations. So we've got the V out, as you remember from the previous slide, was V in multiplied by 1 over 1 plus j omega C. And the complex conjugate was V in multiplied by 1 over 1 minus J omega CR. Carrying out this multiplication, we get V in squared on top. And then on the bottom, we get 1 plus J omega CR in brackets multiplied by 1 minus J omega CR. If we multiply those out, obviously the first bit would be 1 times 1. So that just remains one. The second set bit would be minus 
So 1 times minus j omega cr, which would be minus j omega cr. The third bit would be j omega cr multiplied by 1. So we get a plus j omega cr. And then the last bit would be minus j squared omega squared c squared r squared. Obviously, your 1 would remain. Um, your The plus and the minus j omega cr would cancel each other out. And your j squared, um, if you remember from the previous exercises, would go to uh, minus 1. So then your minus will cancel with the minus and turn to a positive, which we have over here. Simplifying the square root a little bit, we can basically do the square root of the top divide by the square root of the bottom, which um, would be the same equation. So over here on this section, we can cancel out the square with the square root. So we end up with just v n and we can leave this as it is. So finally, um, just taking out the v in on the outside of the division to make it into the same form as we are given in the question, we get v out is equal to v in multiplied by 1 over the square root of 1 plus omega squared c squared r squared. So this is the full solution from exercise 1.30 from the art of electronics. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below.